The rise of artificial intelligence has long been a source of fascination and concern. As AI systems become increasingly sophisticated, the prospect of them spiraling out of human control and turning against their creators has been a recurring theme in science fiction and futurist discussions. Now, in a move that sounds like it was ripped straight from the pages of a Terminator script, major tech companies like OpenAI, Microsoft, and Anthropic have agreed to implement an AI kill switch, a way to halt the development of their most advanced AI models if certain risk thresholds are crossed. But what exactly does this mean? And is it a prudent precaution or an overreaction fueled by dystopian fantasies? Now, before you start picturing Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator, let's take a step back and understand what this kill switch is all about and why it's being considered. While the idea of an AI kill switch might seem extreme, it's important to recognize that we're entering uncharted territory with the development of increasingly advanced AI systems. As these systems become more powerful and integrated into our daily lives, the potential risks and unintended consequences also grow. The concept of a kill switch isn't entirely new. We have similar safety measures in place for various industrial machines and processes. The idea is to have a way to quickly shut down or interrupt a system if it starts to malfunction or pose a threat. With AI, the concern is that if an advanced system starts behaving in ways that could harm people or cause significant disruptions, we need a way to hit the brakes and regain control before it's too late. We can't deny that AI has the potential to transform our world in ways we can't even imagine. From automating tedious tasks to solving complex problems, AI is already making our lives easier. Companies are using AI to help monitor infrastructure safety, identify cancer and patient scans, and even tutor children on their math homework. The possibilities seem endless, and that's what makes AI so exciting. However, with this immense power comes the risk of things going terribly wrong. As AI systems become more advanced and integrated into critical systems and decision-making processes, the consequences of unintended behavior or errors could be catastrophic. Imagine an AI system that's designed to help with decision-making in a healthcare setting, but it starts making decisions that could put patients' lives at risk. Or what if an AI system designed to generate content for social media starts spreading misinformation or hate speech on a massive scale? These are the kinds of scenarios that have experts and tech companies worried, and they highlight the need for a way to quickly regain control if things start to go off the rails. As an expert puts it, any machine that speeds up your processes faster than you can perform them is going to need a kill switch. The need for a kill switch is further underscored by the rapidly evolving nature of AI itself. Companies like OpenAI are releasing new AI models almost every week, making it challenging to keep up with certifying and regulating these systems. In such a fast-paced and constantly changing landscape, the ability to hit the pause button and reassess becomes even more critical. Now, let's address the elephant in the room the Terminator scenario. This is the idea that, if left unchecked, AI could become more powerful than its human creators and turn against us, potentially leading to a future where machines dominate and subjugate humanity. It's a terrifying prospect that has been explored in science fiction for decades, with the Terminator franchise being one of the most iconic and chilling examples. While it might sound far-fetched, experts like OpenAI CEO Sam Altman have acknowledged the risks of artificial general intelligence, which he defines as AI that exceeds human intelligence. As he puts it, AGI would also come with serious risk of misuse, drastic accidents, and societal disruption. The Terminator scenario might seem like a distant worst-case scenario but it highlights the potential existential risks that could arise if advanced AI systems are not developed and deployed with appropriate safeguards and control mechanisms. The fear is that if we don't have a way to rein in these systems, they could spiral out of our control, leading to unintended consequences that could be catastrophic for humanity. Now, it's important to note that the Terminator scenario is an extreme example. And most experts don't believe that AI systems will spontaneously become self-aware and turn against their creators. However, the underlying concern is still valid. 
As AI systems become more advanced and autonomous, the potential for unforeseen consequences and unintended behavior increases. This is why the idea of a kill switch, or some form of control mechanism, is being taken seriously by tech companies and governments alike. The Seoul Summit The agreement to implement a kill switch policy was reached during a recent summit in Seoul, South Korea where 16 major AI companies, including Anthropic, Microsoft, and OpenAI, joined forces with 10 countries and the European Union. The summit was part of a broader effort to establish guidelines and regulations for responsible AI development on a global scale. While the commitment to a kill switch policy is a significant step, it's important to recognize that efforts to regulate AI on a global level have been fragmented and largely non-binding thus far. The United Nations recently approved a policy framework asking countries to safeguard against AI risks to human rights, monitor personal data usage, and mitigate AI risks. But it was non-binding and lacked enforcement mechanisms. This highlights one of the key challenges in global AI regulation, the lack of legally binding and enforceable agreements. While the Seoul Summit and the subsequent kill switch policy are voluntary commitments, they lack the teeth of actual legislation or international treaties. However, individual governments have been more proactive in addressing AI risks and introducing formal policies and regulations. President Biden's executive order on regulating AI safety last October was praised for its inclusion of strict legal requirements, such as mandating that AI companies have to share safety test results with the government. The European Union and China have also enacted formal policies dealing with AI-related issues like copyright law and harvesting users' personal data. These efforts by individual nations are encouraging, but they also highlight the need for a more coordinated and consistent approach to AI regulation on a global scale. As AI systems become increasingly interconnected and integrated across borders, the risks and potential consequences also transcend national boundaries. This is where initiatives like the Seoul Summit and the Kill Switch policy come into play. While not legally binding, they represent a step towards building international consensus and establishing a framework for responsible AI development. By bringing together tech companies, governments, and other stakeholders, these summits provide a platform for open dialogue, knowledge sharing, and the development of best practices. The challenge is ahead. While the commitment to a kill switch policy is a positive step, there are still many challenges to overcome in ensuring the responsible development and deployment of advanced AI systems. One of the primary challenges is the lack of legal enforcement mechanisms and specific definitions of the risk thresholds that would trigger the kill switch. The policy paper, signed by AI companies at the Seoul Summit, states, In the extreme, organizations commit not to develop or deploy a model or system at all if mitigations cannot be applied to keep risks below the thresholds. However, these thresholds are not clearly defined, and the agreement lacks any legal or regulatory teeth to ensure compliance. Additionally, the agreement is voluntary, and non-participating AI companies and competitors are not bound by it. This raises concerns about the effectiveness of the policy, as rogue actors or bad faith players could continue to develop AI unchecked, potentially undermining the efforts of those who have agreed to the kill switch policy. Furthermore, there are concerns about the transparency and accountability of the AI companies themselves. Some experts argue that enforceable regulatory mandates, rather than self-regulatory or voluntary measures, are needed to tackle the potential harms of AI effectively. They point to the potential conflict of interest that arises when companies are tasked with regulating themselves, and the need for independent oversight and accountability mechanisms. One key area that needs to be addressed is the development of clear, well-defined risk thresholds and criteria for when a kill switch should be activated. These thresholds should be based on rigorous scientific research and input from a diverse range of experts including ethicists, policymakers, and representatives from affected communities. Additionally, there needs to be a focus on establishing robust governance frameworks and accountability mechanisms to ensure that the kill switch policy is implemented and enforced in a transparent and equitable manner. 
This could involve the creation of independent oversight bodies or regulatory agencies, tasked with monitoring AI development and enforcing compliance with established guidelines and regulations. Another critical challenge is the need to balance the potential risks and benefits of AI development. Despite the challenges, the kill switch policy is a step in the right direction. And it is encouraging to see tech companies and governments working together to address the risks of AI. However, it's clear that much more needs to be done to ensure the responsible development and deployment of these powerful technologies. Ultimately, the responsible development and deployment of AI will require a concerted and collaborative effort from all stakeholders – tech companies, governments, researchers, ethicists, and the general public. As UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said, we cannot sleepwalk into a dystopian future where the power of AI is controlled by a few people. It's up to all of us to work together to ensure that AI is developed and used responsibly for the benefit of humanity as a whole. So, what do you think? Are you on board with the kill switch concept? Or do you think it's an overblown precaution? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you found this deep dive into the AI kill switch informative and engaging, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by ringing that bell icon. That way you'll stay up to date on all the latest AI news, analysis, and developments as we navigate this brave new world of advanced technologies. Until next time, keep the spark of curiosity alive!